and welcome to our award show for the 2023 Lion Star State Awards. I'll be your host for tonight, Britt Boresic. I'm in Houston, Texas, and I'm just going to welcome you into my home this year so that we can go over and just chat about what our favorite dances were in the state of Texas. Hopefully in the future, I would actually really, really love to have a live in-person award show where we can meet and celebrate these dances all together. Maybe that's something to come. Anyway, I'm gonna get us started off. Today is Go Texan Day. So grab your glass of sweet iced tea and let's go over some of these results. Now, before we get to the nitty gritty, I've got all the awards right here and I'm sure you're really interested to see what they are. We've got absolute beginner category, beginner, improver, intermediate, and advanced with a dance of the year. There were over 78 dances nominated, and we got these nominations by collecting data every single month throughout the year of 2023. Dancers were polled, as well as instructors or anybody else is welcome to contribute that comes to Texas events or comes and dances with us. You don't have to be a native Texan to participate. However, we really want this poll to be indicative of what we're learning here in Texas so that we can keep all of our dancers happy and on the same page and just kind of get an idea so that we know what to teach with our classes when we know what other people are doing around our area. So as a monthly poll on a new Facebook group that's been around a couple years since the pandemic time, every month we survey our dancers at the end of the month and ask, what are your favorite dances that you've recently learned in the past month? So not necessarily an old classic that you've known for many years, but something that you've learned new. Now it could be an older dance or it could just be something brand new off the press. Either way, what's new to you, what's new to your students, or even if you're an instructor, maybe you know a dance but you want to represent those new dances that you're introducing to your class. You can enter as many dances as you want and vote for as many of the other dances that other people suggest as well. We leave that poll open at the end of the month for a full week just to get an idea. Then from that poll, narrow it down to the top 10 dances each month. All of those top 10 will go into another pool that at the end of the year make up the Line Star State nominations. Then, once the year was totally complete in January, we released the full list to any of our Texas dancers. They were able to go through and vote in each category for their top two favorite dances. Not just one, because that's really hard. So we wanted to make sure that you were able to get two. Two favorite dances in each category. This is the result. So each category is not only going to have a dance of the year, but will also allow a runner up to be awarded as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to some of these categories. Absolute Beginner is up first. Absolute Beginner Dances. Your nominees are Glass of Wine, Jimmy Copacabana, K Step and Rumba, Lucky Lips, Senior Cha, Stand By Me, and That Honky Tonk Highway. Your 2023 Line Star State Award winners for Absolute Beginner are. Stand By Me, tied with That Honky Tonk Highway. Congratulations, Roy, Raymond, and Maggie. Well, congratulations to That Honky Tonk Highway by Maggie Shifley and Stand By Me by Roy Verdonk and Raymond Sarlemagne. Those are two really great dances and I've taught both of them to my classes and I've seen them danced all over the state of Texas, so I know it is well-deserved. There were so many great nominees in the category though, so please have a look at the full list because just because a dance didn't win doesn't mean that it's not really a great dance to share with your students. Okay, so before we get to our next category, I just wanted to bring up a couple little facts. 
To be eligible, eligible to vote in our awards, you had to fall under a certain amount of categories. One is being a current resident of the state of Texas, so you had to say what city you live in. Two, are you a Texas student? So you might live in Louisiana, Oklahoma, Arizona, maybe a bordering state, but you regularly attend classes in Texas, or maybe you attend a regular virtual class from Texas. So name your instructor that resides in Texas. If one of those didn't work out, what Texas event do you tend to attend? There are the, there's a Texas Line Dance Jamboree, there's Heart of Texas, which is coming up in April. There's the Yellow Rose of Texas. There's the Blue Bonnet Bash. There's Mineola Kickin. And to name just a few, there's lot, loads of others as those were in our survey. Funny enough though, I just wanted to give you some stats. The Texas Jamboree made up 51.8% of our voters. So that means that out of all of our voters, 51.8% attended the Texas Jamboree last year. We asked about 2023. Okay, so I'll save some of the other stats for in between other awards. Let's get to those beginner dances. Good luck to all of our nominees. Beginner dances. Your nominees are Achy Breaky Heart. Alabama Chasen, Amigos in Low Places, Float, Funky Shuffle, Heaven's Jukebox, I Was on a Boat, Little Heartbreak, Mary, Miley's Flowers, Obla Di Obla Da, One Beer, Sexy Mona Lisa, She's a Natural, Shotgun Jenny, Southern Soul Bounce, These Boots, Up in Your Giddy, When Will I Be Loved. The runner up is Amigos in Low Places by Brooke Oresic and Juan Gonzalez. Your 2023 Line Star State Beginner Dance of the Year is Heaven's Jukebox by Jose Miguel Biokevane and Willie Brown. Wow, congratulations to Heaven's Jukebox. Amazing dance. I know that that has been done at many of our events around Texas, so huge congratulations to Jose Miguel Biokevane and Willie Brown. Um, I just want to say, as a runner-up uh, with Amigos in Low Places with my co-choreographer Juan Gonzalez, I am floored, I am so thankful, and I'm so uh, honored that our dance is being danced all around the state of Texas. I look forward to dancing that very soon at the Yellow Rose of Texas next weekend, as well as at the Blue Bonnet Bash. So uh, that dance was first introduced at Heart of Texas last year during our Lone Star Legacy Workshop. So that'll also be coming up again in April. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Thank you to all of my amigos out there. Um, so another stat that I wanted to bring up out of our voters, there was a whopping 23.2% of our voters that claimed to be from the Houston area. But I just wanted to list out some of the other cities just because you can see how well represented the state of Texas was with the Lion Star State Awards. We have Allen, Amarillo, Austin, Canyon Lake, Chandler, College Station, Conroe, Houston, Donna, Flower Mound, Garland, Gladewater, Granbury, Greenville, Hutto, Joshua, Katy, Little Elm, Montgomery, Magnolia, New Braunfels, Odessa, Plano, Porter, Rockport, Round Rock, Sunnyvale, Temple, The Woodlands, Tomball, Weatherford, and San Antonio. All right, so you can see we've covered from east to west, north to south, 
these dancers really came through and gave us their opinions on their favorite dances, and I think the winners are well represented of that. Let's go ahead and get to our improver category. Good luck to all of our nominees once again. Improver dances, and the nominees are Broken Wings, Cinco de Mayo, Corn, Cowboy Don't, Crispy Chicken, Proud in Mind, Cruise, Dancing in the Moonlight, Don't Overthink It, Drink a Buy, Gasoline, Give Me Your Tempo, Heart Like a Hurricane, Lay Low, Like I Love Country Music, Party on the Corner, Raised Like That, Scootin' Bootin', Swamp Thing, Sweet Caroline, Take Me to Texas, Train Wreck, Triple J, Un Poquito, Yeah. The Improver Runner Up is Scootin' Bootin' by Mark Paulino. Your 2023 Lion Star State Improver Dance of the Year is drink a -Buy by Rachel McEnany. Wow, huge congratulations to drink a -Buy and Rachel McEnany-White. Gotta say, my class loves this dance. I know so many other dancers do. I think even Events outside of Texas have just enjoyed the heck out of it. Congrats to drink a buy. All right, that being said, before we get to the intermediate category, I wanted to share something with y'all. So this year, we've got some special awards for our winners. We've got these nice gold frames with the awards printed on them. Lion Star State Awards for 2023. This is for an absolute beginner dance of the year, That Honky Tonk Highway by Maggie Shipley. So we're gonna make sure, Maggie, we get this to you. We've got one for each of our award winners. And then um, if we need additional copies for co-choreographers, we can make that happen. We also can give a little certificate for the runner-up dances as well. So just whenever you run into me, either at one of these events or Heart of Texas, or I'll just have to get one in the mail to you so that you can receive your award actually in person. So let's get to our intermediate dances. This one was a long one. We have so many dances entered in this category. I lost track of the number, but anyway, too many good dances to choose from. And in fact, I think a lot of our voters tended to be favored on the intermediate side. So we wanna get some of our absolute and beginner dancers more involved next year in the voting, of course but it was no surprise that there's so many intermediate dances nominated. So although, again, we only have one main winner and one runner up, keep them all in mind, you guys, because it is a great list. Let's find out who's won. Intermediate dances. Your nominees are One Plus One, 21 Forever, Three Tequila Floor, Sixes to Nines, Another One Bites the Dust, Around the Fire, Big Energy, Crystal Cha, Everyone Needs a Hero, Eyes Closed, Face the Music, Faded Dreams, Find the Beat, Gave Me a Girl, Ghosted. Giddy up, we don't want to miss the twang. If you believe, love, love. Maracaibo, never gonna not dance again. Our own party. Show me, telling on my heart. The last hurrah, witch. Wreckage. The 
intermediate runner-up dance is Another One Bites the Dust by Ryan Hunt. Your 2023 Line Star State of Intermediate Dance of the Year is Three Tequila Floor by Texas's own Joe Thompson, Samansky, and Madison Glover. Woo! It has been a long night already. How about that Intermediate Dance of the Year? Three Tequila Floor. Miss Joe Thompson Szymanski is Texas's own. Yes, we still claim her, and we're so proud to have a Texan on the top of our awards list for the intermediate dance. An amazing dance. Um, later, if you stick around with us, um, there will be a video of her actually sharing that dance on a live dance floor that you can dance along with. But anyway, love Miss Joe Thompson, and I look forward to seeing her here soon at Heart of Texas. All right. So that brings us to the advanced dances, the big, the big show. So the advanced dance category was actually very interesting. Again, we pulled dancers all year long, and there were many, many advanced dances that were nominated throughout the year. However, only one, only one ever made the top 10 list in any given month. That was Portland Chaw. Now, that doesn't mean it's an automatic win because in any of our categories, we had a write-in slot that you could write in any dance that you wanted to. And you can bet because there was only one choice, we had quite a few write-ins for our advanced nominations. Now, it's hard to compete with the dance that's nominated and has won once already in the monthly polls. However, all of those advanced dances that are mentioned, super great dances, and we're going to award a winner and a runner-up in this category as well. So enjoy this list, and you might think of an advanced dance this next year that you're going to need to nominate in our monthly polls to get those numbers up a little bit for 2024. So enjoy, and let's give a good shout out, good luck to our advanced dances. Advanced dances. Your nominees are Portland Shaw. Write in candidates included Two Step Turn, Heart of the Darkness, Men on a Mission, Run Me Like a River, The Sphinx. Waiting on you. Watch me, watch me. Work the world. Advanced runner up dance is The Sphinx by Simon Ward, Roy Hadisabrodo, Fiona Murray, and Rebecca Lee. Your 2023 Line Star State Advanced Dance of the Year is Portland Cha by Amy Glass, Dustin Betts, John Pierre Maj, Jose Miguel Biokevane, Simon Ward, and Niels Polson. No surprise. Portland Shaw is our winner of the advanced dance category, but how about that runner up? The Sphinx has been lighting up the dance floor at every event I can think of for the past year or two. So well deserved to the Sphinx. It was a write-in candidate that got numerous write-in votes. There were several others that were written in um, multiple times as well too, so it was quite a race. Anyway, stick around you guys until Facebook or YouTube kicks us off for music rights. Again, we do not own the rights to any of the music to follow on the rest of this evening. Um, I will say we're going to attempt to play the songs and dance videos for every winner of every category. So now's the time for you to join us and join our choreographers on the dance floor for a celebratory dance for every single one of our six winners. 
starting with our absolute beginner dances all the way through our advanced in order. I'll check in with you guys at the end of our dancing. Have fun! <laughs>
played the song for me at Crystal Booths in January, and I loved it. Her dad, Tom Glover, found the song and recommended it. So thank you, Tom. So here we go with three tequila floor. Let's do it.
I'm tired, I don't know about y'all, but that was a lot of dancing. So, so, so fun. I wonder what your favorite is out of all these six. You know, it's too hard to choose one single dance of the year overall because everybody is a different level. We got some people that really preserve, pre prefer those absolute beginner dances and some that just really love the challenge of the advance. So until further notice, we're not gonna have one single dance of the year for the Line Star State Awards, but you know, things can change over time. For that reason too, um, at this time, we're not going to nominate a choreographer of the year or an instructor of the year or a personality of the year because really, we want to honor those all over the world and just celebrate the art of dancing together. And so for now, this is how we're going to keep it just nice and simple. All right, you guys. Well, I hope to see you at an event in Texas here very soon. Keep going on to the Texas Online Dance Mission on Facebook every month and get your votes in. Get your instructor in there to vote, get your students in there to vote, and if you're attending a Texas event, you're welcome to vote as well. Anybody's welcome to join that group though and just can share in the love and passion with us in Texas and see what's going on here in the Lone Star State. You might find yourself moving here one day. That tends to happen. Anyway, until we see, until I see you again on the dance floor, I'm Britt Boresic signing out from Houston, Texas. Congrats to all of our winners.